let's quickly run it and we should see the checkpoints getting created in the environment here. So I'll run this file. And we see that, and we see that uh, we, we have started the execution. It should, in a moment, should start creating the checkpoints and should save that in the CSV file that we have just put. What we see here, what we see here are the different log lines that we wrote and is saying that all the checkpoint information are saved in the CSV. We'll go to the CSV in a while. Let's first go to the uh, virtual host itself and the virtual machine where we have created it. Let's quickly refresh and let's see the checkpoints. So what we see here is a new checkpoint getting created at so-and-so date time should match with the date time being displayed here, yeah. So we'll go quickly to the uh, CSV file that has been just built 1953, and it should have all the details that we, we expect, the description, the checkpoint name, uh, the checkpoint description and the VM description, the checkpoint date and so on. So this is about how you can take the uh, checkpoint of all the build machines that you would like to, and then you can always sa save the information about it. In order to perform few other operations, you can always wish to revert to a particular checkpoint. You can always wish to delete few checkpoints. You can wish to delete all the checkpoints on a VM and so on. So uh, this is about the demo. Thank you for watching.